Dapper and today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own font uh, from Photoshop or Sketchbook Pro. So yesterday I did mine to be honest and that's why I'm doing this video right now because I find an easier way than everywhere online that I that I was you know like asking how to do this showed me so this is how they show you. You have to go to this amazing page, which is um, myscriptfun.com, and um, you're supposed to print a template and then write over it and then scan it and blah 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 blah. But if you already have Photoshop and Sketchbook Pro, it's gonna be easier if you just go to the page, which is this one, and you have to be at the home on Saturday or whatnot. So you go and, and download the PNG, you just click on it, it's going to open this, this um, template that you go ahead and download to your computer. And when you have a download, which is this file, um, go to properties, just in case you're going to use it to sketch with Sketchbook Pro, and go to properties and check out on details the, the pixels. Uh, you know, like for, for sizing it in your canvas in Sketchbook Pro. So, this is already done for the purpose of the video. I'm sorry, but I'm going to show you. you. You go to Image and Canvas Size, and you set the canvas width and height to the same as the image. Because in Sketchbook Pro, if you don't use it or don't know it, uh, when you open an image that is larger than your canvas, it stays larger than your canvas and it erases the information when you resize the image to your image. So you have to go and delete the image and reload it again and it's complicated so just go ahead and do it before. So in this case I did it. What you have to do after it's in another layer for you to be able to erase on top of it is do your lettering. So I went ahead and did it and this is how it looked in, in my, my handwriting. So I want to tell you guys that this, and this is very important because I yesterday I, I had to redo it like I'm sorry redo it like like six times because <laughs> I didn't know and thank you very much I went and passed these boxes because I thought the important box was the other box and it's not so the, if you overpass this tiny box which is in kind of a gray stuff your letter it's gonna be incomplete so. So don't do it, don't overpass it. Okay, so after that, um, here you're gonna have to go in Sketchbook, you're gonna have to go and save it as a JPEG, which I, as I already did. So you go, you save it as a JPEG, very important, which is right here in font video number one, because this is the second time I did this video. Thank you very much, I was like super stressed before and nobody could understand me. So <laughs> I redid this video and okay. So you go and save it, in this case you will click save, in my case no, because I already did. So you save it as a JPEG. Now in the case of, uh, let's close this, in the case of Photoshop, same thing, you're gonna upload your image, this one it's already merged and done, and you're gonna make sure again that you're not overpassing those, those squares, and go to, uh, do it in layers also, again I, I merged mine. But do it in layers so you're able to erase and and you don't you know you don't erase the the original file because it's very important because thanks to this template you know the page is able to you know like grab your your handwriting on top of it and make it a font so go ahead also save it save as jpeg and you save it in my case desktop and font video number two. That's how I did it. And you save it and stop. Okay, again, because I already did this video and I erased it because it was very crappy. I already did this, so I'm gonna click cancel. So any, oh, uh, when you have your, your, uh, your images, well, or your files in JPEG, they're gonna look like this, of course. And then you go to um, the page, uh, which is myscriptfont.com, and you're gonna choose file, font number one. Okay, it's right there. You're gonna just click start. The thing is gonna process it very fast. Thank you. Faster. Thank you. Okay, and there it is. If you can see, you can see the, the example right there. 
but you're gonna have to click this uh, tiny little um, link type thingy I don't know how to call that and there you go it's on an open like this because I already installed it in my computer I'm not gonna do it but I'm gonna show you that right here in the left corner there is a button that says install so you say yes in my case no because I don't want to replace it but you go ahead and say yes boom boom and bye here fonts installed and I'm gonna show you how it got installed so when you want to write there it is my script font and you're gonna say like I don't know hello tiger anything I don't know this is just for the purpose of the video and I'm sorry for that slam because I know that it's very hello hello it's very loud I'm sorry I sometimes forget what I was saying so okay that's it you guys I hope this was useful because it's like less stuff than the usual videos I watched so I hope it's useful, have fun, create fun, see you later.